Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install uh, Fedora, that is latest version 21 server edition on your virtual, vo virtual box. You can also install uh, VMware Workstation also. Uh, you can also install in your desktop, laptop or server also. And with the help of pen drive bootable, you need to have 4GB at least free and DVD you need to have free. <coughs> Uh, 4GB at least so that you need to make a bootable or pen drive also and DVD after bootable you need pen drive these are the what is Fedora Fedora 21st uh, is the latest version offer three distinct products that is Fedora workstation Fedora server Fedora cloud edition these are the three editions you have been Fedora 21 release and uh, that is OS is based on Linux kernel Fedora and it's developed by uh, Red Hat own and this Fedora contains software distributions uh, under free open source and aim that is this Fedora aims to uh, learn the leading the such technologies on the top of it and what are the minimum requirement to have is Fedora you need to have one gigahertz processor or dual core processor before installing uh, these are the one GB RAM you need to have 10 GB disk space you need to have and then you need to have a graphic card or display card of 1024 into 76 and either you need to have dvd or usb cable on and also internet access you need to have these are six requirements you need to have before installing so before proceeding to installation first i will show you how to uh, where you can download fedora open your browser and type fedora just this is the website of fedora just open this link and you will come on the website of this fedora as you can see on the screen these are the three flavors is showing the workstation server and the cloud so we are now i'm showing how to install and download the about server before previously where i have shown you how to installation about your download workstation now is the server just click on the server here you can see download now after clicking on the download it will be uh, show you some uh, like here it's a 64 bit this is one and 1.9 gb is the installation si size and you can sign other installation download 32 bit gb or something others you can find I just click on this download it will be start at downloading so this uh, Fedora uh, 21 server which I have already downloaded uh, you can see on the screen this one is the my Fedora server DVD and which is the size is 1.9 GB is which I have downloaded just open the virtual box and click to create and type here uh, Fedora 21 server uh, select your 32 bit or 64 bit uh, version click on next uh, assign the ram uh, according to your uh, how much you have ram do not go beyond to your red red color on this market you need to stay on this green color okay click on next and then create a hard drive now and then click to next uh, next uh, you can see this is a hard disk size which i am going to give a, at least uh, 25 gb for installation and it's this is the location where it is going to store so you can see i uh, just now i have changed my location if you want to keep default location you can keep just click to create and just click on the settings and go to systems you need to uncheck floppy and then go to storage click on empty and go to here and click on choose to virtual drive this is my fedora server dvd image and go to network and select your bridge adapter click ok and then go for the start now for studying installation so you can see on the screen we having three options this install fedora server 21 or test this media and install the first before installing you can test this media uh, and continue by selecting this option and going to select direct option for installing fedora now you can see you need to select a keyboard language uh, select according to a language which language you belongs to uh, select you can scroll down and you can find for searching here also so i am selecting english indian country you can select according to your country which country you belongs to and click to continue and here uh, as you can see on the screen automatically time has been detected 
and the key language supported has been detected keyboard also detected and uh, insulation source also detected software selection internet selection has been detected previously i have configured i will show you and we need to just set the partition uh, by selecting this option okay and then go for this done so here is saving the uh, partition automatically you can see then go for the begin installation if you want to have a sun partition manually then you will get a um, below option uh, at assigning the partition manually and here we need to create a password for the root so i am giving a password uh, you can give a strong password confirm the same password and then uh, click to done and then we need to create a uh, username also see here also if uh, no user has been created just click here and i am going to create a username right okay okay this is my username has been created required a password to login to your account or else i am going to check this one the, uh, so whenever i login with the username it will not as a password so just click to done and go for this installation is proceeding so it will take some time till then you can have a coffee or tea you can have a break now you can see on the screen it's completed we need to successfully serve a fedora install and we're ready to use just need to reboot it click on reboot Uh, if you get this error automatic booting 15 seconds what you have to do is just close the virtual box and power off this one and then what you have to do is open your virtual box go to fedora 21 click settings uncheck cd dvd on so that doesn't install again just click to start now to avoid installation again we are doing this step so you can see on the screen this has been this is for resetting your root password this one and this one is normal booting so press enter so on our welcome screen came and we need to login type root username oh sorry type root press enter type password which we have given during the installation and as you can see has been lucky you can check the IP address press enter so this is the installation of my Fedora uh, server 21 so successful install so if you get any error or if you get any problem during the installation if you have any problems you can, you can comment below to my video so please subscribe to Audit Blood Net. thank you for watching my video